Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, and the she's moving ish around here. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Char and my Charlamagne. Charlemagne always has his book behind everybody. That's that right. That shit changes today. That's right. That big kid. Look at that shit. Miss Jennifer Lewis. Walking Welcome in back. My joy. She fine, too. That in look, these streets. That looks like a White House photo. Y'all better order it. If I don't get on the New York Times bestseller, everybody goes down and auntie is over. <laughs> I'll be Satan. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. Well, welcome. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Oh, how you feeling? God, guys, come on. Stressful time, right? Not I, at all. Okay. I'm happy as a lark. I got a view of Central Park. Mm. I could just take off and fly. Mm. I am. I feel on top of the world now. I did mm. the work. Mm. I Absolutely. did the work, y'all. I wrote this book during COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put everything in there. I had to get it out of me. There's not a person in the world that did not contemplate their death. Ooh, you're right. And I told my family, I said, if anything happens to me, because I'm 65 now, you get that fucking book out. You're not no 65. Yes, I am. Fine. You lying. And then I find. You ain't 65. Pretty bitch. <laughs> I'm so fucking pretty, I can't see straight. I get up every morning, they, the kids love this. I brush my teeth, spit it out, look in the mirror, I pause. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I say, you pretty bitch. <laughs> then I start my day. There you That's go. That's right. You can't be touched when you start off good. That's right. Ah, uh, can't get nothing to get on you. That's right. That's love. It's hard, though, I mean, in this world, because I feel like the world is just going to shit on so many levels. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Don't you listen. It's okay to be scared right now. Mm -hmm. But you must be unafraid. Mm. Stand the fuck up now. Are we in trouble? Yes. Are they trying to take democracy itself? Yes. But evil will not win out. Mm. Love is the glue that holds us together. So start loving, why don't you? I said it here last time, nothing's changed. Lead with love. Come on. Before you go in any room, you see how I came in here? You came in cussing. I yeah. <laughs> did. <laughs> sure did. That's a lie. <laughs> I, everybody know I don't cuss. I, I, Fuck you, Charlemagne. <laughs> A rat bastard. I think the quote was, how you motherfuckers doing? How I, you think motherfuckers? I, I think that's, that's how the intro was. <laughs> Get that. Yeah. That's how so, so I want to know why you decided to write the book. During COVID, with so much going on, what made you say, I want to put it all out there? Well, that's what I do. Whether I'm writing a book or not, I put it all out there. I talk to the kids. They said Kevin Hart uh, got these chairs. Yeah, Kevin Fuck you, chairs. Kevin. Yeah. Short ass. Yeah, he, he made them short on purpose. Like, they don't adjust. Yeah, so everybody's <laughs> yeah. the same yeah. size as him. Yep. Dumb ass Nancy. That's a name. Of, <laughs> that's a name of one of the chapters in the book. <laughs> yeah. Am I, yeah. Let me tell you a little bit. This is the only story you're going to get okay. from the book because you got to buy it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one teaser. I fainted. At the, at the White, White House, House. Mm -hmm. yeah. and woke up the medical Marines, the, 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 the White House doctor. I woke up, I went, uh, go take care of Obama, motherfucker. <laughs> All I did was think, what if something's happening to Obama? Baby, they gave me three Christmas cookies and some water, you know, to revive yeah, me, a little you, sugar. You sugar. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I said, now, ain't this the White House? <laughs> I know goddamn well Michelle got some chicken in that goddamn. <laughs> I said, y'all go get me some chicken. <laughs> Baby, they said, I heard saw somebody whisper. They were saying, get this bitch out of here. <laughs> they put me in a wheelchair like in the hospital. Rolled me out the front gate because that security had locked down. I was the last one to leave. They rolled me out of the front gate of 1600 Pennsylvania and dumped my ass out of there. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, get no. that bitch out of there. No. no, they loved me up. You know they loved me. <laughs> they loved me up there. Everybody was so concerned. I forgot to eat. I was so excited to be 
to meet the president yeah. and first lady. Come, I'd met them before, mm-hmm. maybe two or three times, but I met Barack when he was a senator. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oprah had a fundraiser for him. Stevie Wonder sang. It was beautiful. That bitch had so much land. I was like, go on, Oprah. Go on, Oprah. Oh, but she had art. It was a beautiful uh, time that, but... Did Obama's check on you afterwards? Hell no, he'd gone on upstairs with Michelle. <laughs> Not an email later or nothing for him? Oh, he probably never told him that a crazy bitch was in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But you know what I learned from Obama that day? <laughs> when he spoke, I say it in the book, I never heard a word he said. I only saw his compassion for the families of the victims that had been shot in the church. Mm. Mm. Emmanuel and me. Yeah. Yes, he was so compassionate. And I have been a real big activist since uh, Trump was elected. So, um... You feel because you, you see what's missing. Like you know, you even if you don't agree with everything that Obama did policy wise, that compassion and that the empathy. other thing he led with love. Yes, mm-hmm. that's why yes. Trump can't fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Come on now, you leading with hate, he's leading with love. You mm-hmm. don't win. You cannot destroy love. You can't match it. The only thing that matches love is love, and it'll knock everything else out the way. If you're in a loving state. I agree with you, but how do you explain white supremacy? Because that's been leading with hate since the day we got here. Y'all don't want to start me. Yes, we do. I'm thinking. It's so much to say about what's going on. White supremacy. I wrote a song called Our Children Shouldn't Have to Run from Bullets. I've written a lot of political songs, and they have uh, been effective. That January 6th shit, they looked like roaches climbing those walls. Mm -hmm. How dare you, you motherfuckers? We built this fucking building! And then they thought they were... See, they went on tour the day before to see where they were going to get in. Mm -hmm. And whoever took them around... Forgot to tell them. Those windows are not the same qualities as the ones in your trailer. (laughs) (laughs) They are beveled and they are thick. And they thought they were going to be able to break them easy. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't know they were going to have to go get a police uh, that... uh, Baton. Yes, Mm -hmm. uh, and break that bitch while somebody filmed your stupid ass. One little girl got uh, gas, tear gas in her eyes. And somebody uh, interviewed her. Well, what's going on? She said, they, 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 little Karen, mm-hmm. they tear gassed me. Uh, and he said, well, who are you? My name is Sylvia Williams. And then they went on and they got her a dress. <laughs> she gave them her dress and shit. That dumb bitch. <laughs> she was just, you know, she was being interviewed and she was distressed. You dumb bitch. She's in jail. She got eight years. Damn. Stupid bitch. Oh, they were so... You know, here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Our privileged asses. The complacency of America. And Americans. All I could vision was a few of them having stopped at an ice cream store. And stood there and couldn't decide amongst the 150 flavors. Where you just get back to vanilla, you dumb bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but as they lick, they ate ice cream on their way there. Yeah, the privilege. That shit made me sick. Mm. How dare you? And smeared shit on the wall. Mm. Trying to kill the fucking vice president of the United States. And people reacted like it was just a bunch of kids having fun at spring break. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Those uh, Republican senators are all sociopaths. Mm -hmm. You know what I know? Trump with his mafia ass, soon as he got in, he got all the dish on all those uh, senators. They can't. Mm -hmm. They can't go with him. Because he'll show them, you know, with little boys and hookers and 
They got pictures. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. So they can't even be human no more. Mm-hmm. They're just scared. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the new president and vice president? Biden has experience. It's a shame he's the age he is. Because I know it's hard for him. Kamala, bad bitch, I'm sorry. Um, and he he's good. And I bet you any amount of money he calls up Obama every morning. <laughs> oh, bastard. <laughs> Barack, please. Barack, please. How the fuck did you do this? For eight fucking years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do I bomb a country now? What should I shoot them? Should I shoot them down from the walls? <laughs> Dumb bastard. I gotta tell y'all, I don't hate I don't hate nobody. Mm-hmm. But that was some nasty shit. Yeah. But let me tell you another thing. History does repeat itself. I thought we had evolved Mm-mm. beyond that. Mm-mm. We just got the sound of a black hole. We have close-ups of Jupiter. Put a man on the moon. And all we can do is destroy Earth. That's right. Mm-hmm. You see, I just got back from Antarctica. Y'all know I travel. Mm-hmm. The captain of the ship was a French ship. Couldn't understand a thing that motherfucker said. I said, nigga, please. <laughs> Speak ebon- Ebonics or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, French people. I like y'all. But what was I talking about? I got so many stories. Antarctica. About. In Antarctica, yes. He took me to the front of the ship, mm-hmm. showed me the water line. And he said to me, Miss Lewis, I know you're a celebrity, but my crew tells me you're an activist. I said, yes, sir, I am. He said, I would ask that you go back to your country and tell whoever will listen, we're in trouble. Mm. The Arctic is melting at the light of speed. Y'all, we need the fucking polars Mm -hmm. to orbit. And these bastards don't want to believe in science. Mm -hmm. Dumb Trump. I'm sorry, I don't don't want anyone (laughs) to say his name. Mm -hmm. What do you think built your buildings, you dumb bitch? A science. And then let's just start there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's, get, let's, let's, talk, let's get back to the book and everything. Well, first of all, congratulations to you for the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hey. I got a claim, a claim, a claim, <laughs> a claim, a claim. Watch this. I'm getting my star hey. on the Hollywood Walk. Go for it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, I got I wrote a song. How did it feel? You know, it felt, um, let me tell you, y'all, anybody can be famous now. All you got to do is fuck somebody. (laughs) But I studied, okay? I studied Shakespeare. There you go. Feldenkrais with Mm -hmm. Uta Hagen. I am trained. Mm -hmm. That's why I speak with distinction. That's why y'all love my voice, because I studied I used to say nuka, nuka for a nickel. Oh, I thought you saying nigga. <laughs> <Nah! laughs> Give me a nuka. <clears throat> That's how we talked back home. Mm-hmm. We talked like that. Wasn't well, until I got to college, I found out it was nickel. You know black people ain't got time to finish the word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, God, y'all. Can you believe it when you got it? When you got it, did it feel surreal? <clears throat> I told the audience that day, it was not the work I did on camera and stage. It was the work I did off. I went and got help. Damn near everybody in the show business is bipolar, but they don't know it because they got in it to hide that mania so they wouldn't be different out there in the normal world. That's right. See? They could hide that edge. Even I was... uh, Uh, I hesitated to take medication because I didn't want it to take my edge. 
It didn't. I stayed in. Literally had to be re-raised. My mama didn't have time to take care of me. There was no affection. I was her seventh child, and she was 26. The hell she gonna do with seven babies running around, scrubbing white people's floors? Have time to hold me, tell me I'll come here. I didn't get none of that. Mm -hmm. But what she did give me was work ethics. She, She stopped scrubbing white people's floors, and she went and got her certificate and became a nurse's aide. She said, I'll be damned if those white people come to my house to check it out so I can get a welfare check. Mm. You remember they used to come in there, Mm -hmm. make sure the father wasn't there. Mm -hmm. See, if the daddy was home, you didn't get welfare. If they came in there and saw you had, that you had uh, nice stuff, that was reported. Here's a story you don't know. I'm about, how old am I? 35. Now, now I'm 65 now, but I'm trying to tell the story. I was seven years old. Old then. Mm-hmm. White man came to my mama's house to check on it so she could get a welfare check so she couldn't get a welfare check. He peers in the door, comes right to the front door, doesn't come all the way in yet. <laughs> my mother was prop, she was not in the fucking mood. He peered in and saw an upright piano that a white family had given my mother. And he said these words. Where you get that piano, nigga? Mm. My mother said, just a moment. (laughs) I stand there with my thumb in my mouth thinking, no, you the nigga this morning, because you going down. (laughs) I knew that motherfucker was in trouble. (laughs) My mother went to the back, came back with the bucket we used to use to pee in, and because we had an outhouse. But we would pee in a bucket. But if you had to poop, you had to go outside. Mm-hmm. She And you know your toilet paper's in there. My mother came back with that bucket of piss and threw it all over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm standing there like, and there's toilet paper. God damn. What's up? I was like, well, you won't say that shit no more. That's right. Not to her. That's My right. mother was a gangster. Alpha. She fed us. Did whatever she had to do. The pipes would break in that cold St. Louis uh, weather. We would ice skate on the kitchen floor. Run around. You know, we didn't know. Mm-hmm. She, that mom, had to empower you as a child to you see your mom stand up to that you white damn man like straight. that. She got a job. Mm-hmm. We were off welfare. She said, these motherfuckers will not tell me what to do with my life and mm. my children. Mm. My mother didn't play. She taught me work ethic. That's why I'm still here. That's why I have sustained in show business, you see. Mm-hmm. You can't. S- Child, not, I told y'all this last time, I think. Not even me can stop me. I was given a gift. That's right. And I honored it. Stayed alive. Stayed healthy. Look at me now. God damn it. Beautiful. I love 35 you. years young. Yeah, hey, tell me about that. I hit a high note for my book. Y'all don't walking know. in my joy. Walking in my shit. joy. Who has the, the audacity to write a book called Walking in My Joy? How does somebody walk in their joy? How do, how do... You got... she, We only have five minutes because she has to go. But, uh, but go fuck ahead. that. I don't give a fuck about the other interview. I'm standing here because I know I'm talking to a lot of black kids. There you go. That's right. Tell you the question again. How does somebody walk in their joy? Live on. Mm. Mm. Oh, God, just don't go willy-nilly through this. It's called life. Look what we have, the planet. Oh, God, y'all, I've been over the, all over the world. It's so beautiful. I just got back from the Himalayan mountain range. I saw Everest. Mm. God damn. Took a helicopter. I saw the base camp, you know, where they start to climb the summit. Mm-hmm. We saw a few of them going up. Y'all know I wanted to climb that mountain when I was 13. Wow. There were commercials on TV that the tallest man in the world, the tallest this, and they showed Everest. And that's when I didn't know I was bipolar. Because when you're in a state, you shop. You know, you're manic. 
Everything's big. You're immune to danger. And there I was looking at Everest, the little poor girl from Kenlock, Missouri. Mm. I went to the Taj Mahal. There I was. I went to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. I went to the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi Mm -hmm. and Petra in Jordan. All cultural treasures of the world. We shouldn't destroy this. Mm. Human beings have got to be nicer. Live on purpose, y'all. Do your homework. Do the work. Write it down. What you want to do today? How you going to be nice? How can I be nice today? Mm -hmm. The road rage. The, 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 the disdain for your co-workers. Mm-hmm. I told you last time, you got to be happy on your way to happy. Don't think you're going to get there. And then I'm happy. Oh, look what I got. No, you're the same piece of shit you were when you started. That's right. If anything, it makes it worse. Absolutely. And what gives you that joy? What gives you the most joy? Is it acting? Is it activism? Or is it traveling? Or is it something that you haven't mentioned? What's more ex- exciting to me right now than anything is that I can look at you all, all of you that call me auntie, and know that the only thing I can do for you is live my best life. Yes, look at me. I take care of myself. You think this is easy? I'm in Pilates, I'm in, you know, yoga. I eat as well as I can. Stop eating all that fried chicken. Get so sick of seeing my fellow sisters walking down the street and they can't even get around. Mm-hmm. What, are you going to die and leave your children here for somebody to molest? Keep your ass healthy. Stop it. Come out of them dark rooms with all that depression. Stop yourself. You go get some help. But you can start by journaling. What do I want? Mm -hmm. Who am I? And if you don't know, make some shit up. (laughs) (laughs) When did you first start going to therapy? Wow, I was 33 years old. Okay. I spent half my life depressed Mm. and manic as hell. Did you know it was depression? Absolutely not. It was normal. That's right. I cried every night of my life. Well, there were some nights I had sex and that was all right. (laughs) I didn't cry that night. I was like, Merry Christmas. Hey, you ever cried like, over some yeah. bad sex? Like, ugh. Bad sex? Like, I wish the fuck he would. Not as I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in my 20s then. You get it up or get stabbed. I wish a bitch would... I wish a bitch would bring a limp dick in my house when we were that young. What? Nigga, please. Oh my God, I shouldn't do this. Y'all, they, they, they play the hell out of my abuse. I want to be honest. But you live on purpose. Oh, you man. Rehearse it. Life is not a rehearsal, but practice living well. You can do it. You can. I did. I was poor. I had mental illness, had sex addiction, molested, all of it. But I wanted to live. Wow, did you did you really almost retire after Black? Yeah, I did. I wanted to go home. Mm. Uh, COVID was happening, and I I wanted to go with be- people I loved. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if I was gonna die. I wanted to be with my siblings. Mm-hmm. I'm still going back. I just signed a six year contract for Ooh. a show on a show on Showtime. It's called I Love That for You. Wow. Wow. It stars Congrats. Molly Shannon and Vanessa Bayer, two uh, Saturday Night Live uh, alumni, and they are comedic giants. A six-year contract? A six, you, you know, when you do a, a, a show, you got to sign a six-year okay, gotcha. contract. Yeah, yeah. And um, Well, congrats. Thank you. I'm so happy. And the role I'm doing, guess what? What? <laughs> they waited till I was 65 years old to make me a porn star. I'm fucking in this <laughs> show. That's why you still live it. Yeah, it's cable. Star? You got to watch it. What's her name? What's her name? What's her, her, her name? Her name is Patricia Cochran. Patricia Cochran. Yeah. I put that Cochran on it. Her name, when I got the script, her name was Patricia Conkin. So I asked the writers, I said, so you never know what they're going to do with the stories. So I said, was she married? They said, no. I said, well, what's this Conkin shit? Ain't no black people named Conkin. 
<laughs> so I said, let her be Cochran mm. and let her um, be Johnny Cochran's cousin. Bad bitch. Okay. She's a billionaire. Mm-hmm. And uh, just a cuss everybody. When does it come out? It's out. There are eight episodes on Showtime mm-hmm. right now, and we're waiting to see if the show's going to be picked up. Okay. And um, I'm ready for it. Wow. This is a great mm-hmm. role. It is, by the way, it's my best work. Really? I am, That's saying a lot. Baby, I'm in that character. I, wa- I walked into that character like a fitted glove. And I'm having the time of my life mm-hmm. because the environment is so nice. You know, you can get on some toxic sets mm-hmm. and then you can't create well. And, um, but I'm, guys, I'm having the time of my life. Here it is. I'm doing 15 animations right now mm-hmm. in 15 different voices. Wow. I got the new series, mm-hmm. new book. Wow. Walking, Walking in, in my, my joy. joy. New book. I'm on book tour now. Mm -hmm. Cussing everybody out. Loving them. God, this woman stood up last night at Barnes & Noble. She told the saddest story. And then she said, it's my birthday. I said, damn, now I can help. Happy birthday. (laughs) Sang my ass off. I saw there's a picture in the book where you posted with a swollen face. But the caption ain't no shame in my game. You said that's what too much asleep. crest looks like. This, fell asleep. This Let yeah. me show him. Show him. Get a close mm-hmm. up. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get it on there. We'll get it on yeah. there. Yeah. Now listen. I fell asleep with a massager that I only put on my neck. Fell asleep and it was over here when I woke up. Dun, 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 dun. All night. Mm. Woke up. My shit. I just was like, oh my God, what is this? I thought it was COVID. I thought, mm. you know, some. Side effect from something or whatever. Anyway, I wanted y'all to see me like that so you can know I'm human. I get my heart broken. I fuck up. I walk in my joy, but I'll take a bitch down in my joy, too. (laughs) It ain't that much medication in the world, okay? The personality will break through. But what do you want readers to take away from walking in my joy? Grow up, Mm. be nice, dream, and don't drop the ball. Mm. It is hard. Life's hard. Ain't nobody nobody promised you a rose garden without thorns. Work your way through it. You know, it's so much in that book, but it's mostly funny because after COVID, I knew the world had to laugh. Mm-hmm. When I was in Cambodia, everything was boarded up. My guide said on any, any given day, there were 7,000 tourists at uh, Angkor Wat. Mm-hmm. There were 400 that day. Wow. wow. Everybody's suffering the, the residue of COVID. So that's why you got to be nice. People had... Family members, many people died from this thing. I think it's 3, 000, 3 million something mm-hmm. passed. Mm-hmm. The world is mourning. Stop fighting. Be compassionate. Take care of one another. We all bleed. Didn't it teach us that if one of us sneezes, we're all sick? Mm. Mm. It went around the world. Somebody sneezed. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. So be nice. Keep saying that. Do something for somebody. I fed a lot of families during COVID. That's how I tie. Lead with love. Live on purpose. All right. Jennifer Lewis walking Walking in in my my joy joy in these streets. In these streets. I gotta get y'all high (laughs) kick. Hey. No, you, you don't get one because you didn't ask. I, 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 nah, you, you, you still can do it? Yeah, we didn't say goodbye. I don't know if you can still no, do no, it, Jay. You can't do it no more. Come on now, you're 35 you're now. 35, you're you're 35, a little older than last time. Now, but yeah. guess what? what? This time, I do have to warm it up. And let me show you how to get it up. Okay. You can't do this. Da, 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 da. And don't try to do it. I've been doing this since I was 19. I got trained by a can-can dancer. Yes, man. He told me to stand in the doorway 
and just let the, like a pendulum. Mm -hmm. and it has wow. to be up there one day. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, that was homework. That's history. Absolutely. You don't stop. Keep training, keep working out, move your body, walk around the block, That's try right. to eat right. I want my people to be healthy. That's right. Why oh, you got two eyeglasses? I'm a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I will lose some shit. I think my short memory is gone. Mm. Yeah. That's okay. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get do whatever I got. Ooh, I need this water. You left the And drink yours. water. You you hydrate, please. Dumbass. You left you left us a lot of memories. We love you, Miss Jennifer oh, I Lewis. Love oh, I think I got too. that for you. No, I'm showing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love, I love you more. It's Jennifer Lewis. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you.